By some estimations, I was supposed to be dead 14 years ago. And here I am. My life has been defined by numbers. 80 is the number of weeks that I've spent on IV antibiotics. 12 is the number of surgeries I've had. And I am part of the 10% of people with cystic fibrosis who don't have a therapy to treat the cause of our disease. Today is a great day. Every day that I can wake up and breathe uh, is a great day. And I can tell you the good days um, I really cherish. When I look at pictures of myself as a baby, honestly, it makes me really sad because I see my parents' faces and I know that they had no idea how difficult this journey with CF was going to be. And I think maybe a small part of me knew that I was gonna have to be really strong. When the doctors told us that she had cystic fibrosis, you know, they told us don't expect your daughter to live to be an adult. The first time she coughed, my stomach just, you know, tied in knots. And, um, you know, from three months old till 32 years old, that's the way it's been. My life has been about defying the odds. I have to work harder for everything in my life, but everything is so much sweeter. I knew that I wasn't expected to live past 18 years old, and at 25, I met the love of my life, my husband, Danny. Honestly, the first day that I met Stacy, I, I really thought that it was someone who I, I wanted to be with for the rest of my life, and that's kind of crazy uh, on a first date, but um, I, I liked everything about her. Danny was the first person that I met who saw me for me. I couldn't connect the dots that Someone as, as incredible as Stacy and beautiful as Stacy and healthy and vibrant as Stacy supposedly has a life expectancy of, of 40. Danny asked me to marry him, and I had a lot of fear. I told Danny that I didn't think he knew what he was signing up for. That, that just didn't make sense to me not to continue the relationship because I had a fear that one day something could happen. I had an equal amount of hope that something good could happen. I spent many years throwing pennies in fountains, wishing for a cure for CF. But honestly, for where I'm at in my life right now, it's a baby. And it's been a lot harder than we thought. And that I feel broken. My mind and my spirit are strong and healthy but my body just can't catch up with that. Throughout my life, there have been so many amazing medical advances that have taken place, and to see where we are today versus where we were 30 years ago is, is incredible. But I'm not a part of it. Right now, Stacy is doing so great, and we're so grateful, but it, it really could change at, at, at any point. The sense of urgency and the panic is just intense because CF always wins out eventually. I know one of her biggest fears and, and all of our biggest fears is that she gets left behind. I'm in an uphill battle for my life with CF. I wanted to graduate high school, and I did. I wanted to go to college, and I did. I wanted to fall in love and get married, and I did. And with each milestone, I want more. And that's exactly where I'm at right now. This feeling of being so grateful for where I am, but wanting so much more. Right now, there's nothing to treat me or others like me but I'm choosing to move forward with the belief in myself and the belief that a long future for me is just a medical breakthrough away.
because I am not done yet. And I want to live.